All right, guys, I'd like to introduce you to a Bushmaster. Well, good morning, guys. It is an incredible morning here. I have been sitting by the pond for a couple of hours this morning since daybreak with a cup of coffee, just watching the mist rise off the water and just taking in this this incredibly prehistoric vision of, well, it is prehistoric, and 50 million years ago, this place looked exactly like it looks now. It's just absolutely amazing. So anyway, I just heard them call for breakfast, so once again, my stomach overrides my brain. I'm gonna go get some breakfast in me and some more coffee. Today, we're gonna continue the search for the Bushmaster and the Anaconda. I think that the Bushmaster is probably going to be easier than the Anaconda because the water level is really high and uh, the Anaconda are just dispersed everywhere. So I think for the Anaconda it's just going to be a matter of chance, but for the Bushmaster, well, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about it. Alright, that's uno. What's on the menu this morning? We got flapjacks and bacon as crispy as hell. We got soft boiled eggs that'll make you yell. <laughs> we got syrup and bread. And mangoes. Mangoes too. Oh, now that is a breakfast. I'm digging in. So you may be thinking that everything is green in the rainforest and there's no flowers or any brightly colored plants and the reason for that is that there are so many pollinators here in this forest that the trees over time they don't need to develop you know elaborate flowers or really bright colors to attract different pollinators. There are so many of them that they just come and do their thing and well the tree simply doesn't need to evolve uh, any speciality to attract them but check this out that is really cool guys look at the color of this root Somebody's throwing something down at us from the treetops. Monkeys will see us walking and they'll take fruits and things like that and throw them down at us. I just heard it, but every time you look up at that, well, you don't see any monkeys. Anyway, look at that root. Yeah, there it is again. Somebody's not happy we're walking down here. Anyway, look at that root. Guys, check out this huge bug right here. I'm gonna to try to sneak up to him. This is a monster cicada. See ya! He's right over there. And he just took off. Well, with all the Bushmasters in the area, I should not be trailblazing in this thick undergrowth, so I'm gonna get back to the trail. I really don't know why all the woodland creatures run when they see me. I feel like I'm back with the girls in high school. Check out this gnarly vine. That is too cool. This one's called Monkey Ladder. And it's got these little nooks and crannies in it that the monkeys run up. It goes all the way up into the canopy. All right, guys. I'd like to introduce you to a Bushmaster. He's sitting right over there, coiled. 
He is the largest pit viper in the world. They can grow up to 10 feet, sometimes more. This one, eh, maybe about five feet. He's got a huge strike radius, so I don't want to get too close, but we are going to get him out of there. It's really dark in there for filming, so we are going to get him out of there and bring him to a more lighted area uh, to film him, and then we're going to just bring him right back to the spot here. But <sighs> this guy is insanely beautiful but here's the thing they can deliver an extremely fatal bite and because they're the biggest pit vipers in the world i'm watching him as i'm doing this as well but because they're the biggest pit vipers in the world they also have extremely huge heads and therefore extremely huge glands and therefore can deliver a higher volume of venom if he should tag one of us they also have enough firepower to destroy an entire planet Seriously, they do. Oh, he's beautiful. All right, so here's the dangerous thing about this. Not only are we swarmed with mosquitoes, but it's an hour walk to the river. It's a two hour boat ride to Iquitos, which is the nearest city. And then who knows how long it's gonna to be to get to a hospital in Iquitos. And there's no way to radio ahead and tell them that we're coming. So if this guy nails one of us, we're not even gonna make it to the river. So this is the balance between my safety and the safety of everybody else and getting the shot that I uh, came here to get. So anyway, gotta get him out of there. All right, so that was pretty easy. We got him out of that dark forest and into this lighter spot in the forest. We're only like a hundred meters away from where we found him. So anyway, we're gonna take some shots of him here and then bring him right back to that spot where we found him. So. Ah, Bushmaster. Ah. Just really gorgeous. None of us got a great grip on that thing. See if you pick a boat. Yeah. To see him right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unbelievably beautiful. Mm -hmm. Woo! That is a Bushmaster. Alright, we're gonna move him into position to take some photos of him. He's got three guys on him. He is not having any of it. So he's curled up in this little nook here, just exactly where we wanted him. That is one cooperative snake. Okay, now I'm at my most vulnerable. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Just, I will be, I mean, yeah, still can go very fast, very quickly. Yeah. Es bonito, eh? Yeah. Sí. Bonito y peligroso. Si, si. Si, si, si. Es correcto. Mi esposa. The Bushmaster, guys. Shashupe. Shashupe. Oh, this is Peru right here. All right, so I've got to figure out what safe distance between him and me so that I can get the shots that I want, but, you know, I'm not gonna get tagged in the process. This is absolutely, unbelievably incredible. You know, this would be much cheaper and much easier to do this with a captive specimen in the back parking lot of a zoo somewhere, but that is cheating. Here in Peru, getting a shot of him in his natural habitat, exactly where he lives, that's the difference. <laughs> this is no back parking lot here. Oh, that is absolutely incredible. All right, so these guys have, well, a big 10-footer would have a five-foot strike range. These guys can jump and lunge and Right now, I think I might be just a little too close, but I'm getting an amazing shot here. So, uh, he's getting a little agitated. Might be time to move. I'm gonna get over here. Then we'll do people pictures and then maybe reset him. All right, that sounds good. This is a good dead on shot, so I like this angle here. <laughs> yeah, on these. Mike? I'm gonna try and artsy parts with him here. Hang on, guys, watch him, watch him. 
Hey, look right. at that. He, Wait. Wait. That Wait. he is an Back. intelligent snake. Yeah, you never see a rattlesnake yeah. watch a yeah. hook. That is, yeah, he he looked down at the hook and to, was watching it move. Trying that, to figure out if that was anything. That is an intelligent snake, guys. Yeah. Man, I'm on it. That is Oh, look at that. That's the hazards of filming a wild bushmaster. It's all over my dirty shorts. Oh man. I don't know. I brushed up against something and it ripped my skin, but no big deal. All right, guys. So I'm heading back to my tambo. I am looking very forward to another pond water shower, but uh, <laughs> I just, how just absolutely amazingly awesome was that bushmaster i have you know i've been to costa rica but i never saw him there and this has only been the what second or third time that i've actually been in their range and oh i wanted that snake so badly i wanted to film that snake in the wild so badly but between that and the rainbow boas and the red tail boas and all the other cool snakes and frogs and just everything here. Just what an incredible adventure this has been. So tomorrow is our last full day here. I'm going to be very sad to, you know, leave this place, but I'm looking forward to, you know, going home, telling the stories, seeing the people that I love. And so all good adventures come to an end, but Anyway, tomorrow is yet another adventure here, even if it's the last full day here, and then the day after that, back to Iquitos, and I'm uh, gonna spend a day, you know, exploring that city because I didn't get to when we first arrived, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Anyway, what an awesome day. I'm just gonna be lightheaded and just euphoric off of this experience for a long, long, long time, but... Anyway, guys, until tomorrow, love the planet, keep your life in balance, and rattle on.